Hello, I'm Gil Zilka. Welcome to Essential Classical Music. This video is taken from my larger video on the consensus reference recordings of the core classical music repertoire. Not my choices, but rather the collective critical consensus that has filtered down through the years uh, across generations, across continents, uh, to which you uh, have also contributed. Uh, and if you agree with my choices, or if you think the consensus lies elsewhere, as always, feel free to comment, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, now we move next to Chopin. And uh, I could have gone the easy route here and just said, Rubenstein. <laughs> um, that would be the knee-jerk thing, right? Uh, if Certainly, if you're talking about a complete set of Chopin, uh, I, I think you could say Rubenstein. Uh, but I, I prefer to uh, separate out... First of all, I, I, I'm not going to cover all of his piano works. I'm, I'm going to cover the, sort of the most popular... Uh, sets of pieces, and there really are individual recordings that stand out the most. Uh, starting with the ballads, uh, where the recording of choice is, in fact, Rubinstein, his RCA recording, um, recorded, I, I believe it was the early 60s, uh, and, and there's lots of other really good ballad recordings too, but I think this one still occupies its place at the top. Now for the etudes, there's a version by another pianist, Maurizio Pollini that uh, is, is just, you know, uh, fantastic virtuosity uh, that, that really comes as close as, as we have seen to sweeping the board in this repertoire. However, for the nocturnes, this one I have to go back to Rubinstein. Uh, th this is, as an individual recording, this is one of Rubinstein's most acclaimed, uh, and, and really the biggest competition is maybe himself, his, his recordings from the 30s that are released on EMI. Uh, very, very famous, and, and one, of, one of the, uh, for me, one of the first sets that I, that I recommend to people exploring Chopin for the first time. Uh, then we have the preludes, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna combine them with the impromptus, which, which often they are combined together, uh, I guess partly because they can all fit together on a disc. And this one, I'm going to go back to a really old version uh, from the 30s, Alfred Cortot. Uh, Cortot was a, a, a Chopin master. Uh, and uh, you know, even though he's, again, one of those where it, he's, he's more on the side of the the, the type of artist who is probing and you know maybe does things in an individual way and not always immaculate technically. Uh, the artistry is, is what carries the day. And I would say that for these works, um, I, I would say that in terms of a reference version, he's still unchallenged today. I don't think there is one uh, that has really come, come, come along that really replaces a quarto, so I'm going to keep just quarto. Uh, it is 30s sound, but it's a single piano, so it's a little bit easier to record with older technology. Uh, now for the valses, I say valses, waltzes. I'll, <laughs> it's, this isn't German. <laughs> the waltzes. Um, uh, there's another older recording that I, I think still holds sway today, and that, of course, is Dino Lepati. This is a very famous recording. Uh, uh, does a wonderful job with the valses. So. Pretty easy choice, I think, for the reference uh, for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, I hope you'll also take time to click the like and subscribe buttons. And with that, I want to wish you all a great day and happy listening.